Hi everyone, my name's Anne Marie. Welcome to a brand new episode of Cut TV, brought to you by www.craftshoeprint.com. Today we're going to look at a gorgeous kit from Julie Hutchins, and the cup number is Cup 10927531483, and it's called, and you'll really like this title, Wine Improves with Age. You get four sheets, there's lots of decoupage, gift cards and tags and it's for an 8 by 8 inch square card. I'd like to show you what's in the kit and then we can make the card. So the first sheet is just the kit front. It's just included in the majority of the kits that's on the website and it just shows you the front of the card when it's made. So our first sheet that we're going to use is the main base image for the 8 by 8 inch square card. We've got some sentiments and we've got a gift tag as well. Our second sheet is the second layer of decoupage and the third layer. Now decoupage, if you're a new crafter or an advanced crafter, you don't have to use every layer that's included for decoupage. It's up to you how much you want to build up the image and include and the height that you want the front of the card to go to. Our third layer is more decoupage to build up the front of the card and we go down to the smallest pieces of the butterflies and the lady's hair. So again, it's completely up to you how much you use and how much you don't use. And then our fourth sheet is the insert and a gift tag. So I'd like to show you how to make the gift tag because it's something I always forget and for new crafters you might not, you know, you might not know. So I've cut out the gift tag and I've actually scored it along the centre. I'm folding it in half, edge to edge, and I'm going to take a bone folder. Now if you don't have a bone folder, just something that you can run along the edge would be great. You could even use a ruler or um, the safe end side of the scissors. So we're just going to take the bone folder and run it along the edge where the score and the crease is. And that gives you a nice sharp score. And, you know, it looks great to the gift tags. Very nicely coordinated with the cards. So let's make the card. Now I'm using an 8x8 square white card. And I'm going to start at the back of the card and I'm going to use the gift tag instead of the gift card like we've just looked at. Um, Julie's included some gift card, uh, gift tags and I've simply cut one out. I've put double sided tape on the back and I'm going to just add this just to the bottom centre of our card. And I just think that it kind of ties the card in. You can always add your name at the bottom for you know the recipient so they know who's made the card. Now we can add the insert. So I've taken the insert panel, I've cut it out and I've got flat double sided tape on the back of it and I'm simply peeling the back of the tape away and then I can add the insert into the centre of our card. There we go. And then press it down. And then I've taken one of the sentiments from the actual kit and it says, with love, I've just added a little bit of tape on the back. And I'm just going to add that just at the side of the lady with the balloons. There we go. And then you've got lots of room for your personal message, your to and your from, etc. So now we can create the front of the card. So the first layer that I have is, as I call it, the main base image. So this is on double-sided tape on the back. So we simply peel the back of the tape away. And we're going to add this to the front of our card making it nice and central and then press it down there we go and now we're going to build the decoupage so the first layer that I've cut out from Julie's kit is it's virtually the full layer without the outside so it's just the inner section because decoupage gets smaller as it goes and it builds into a 3D image I've got 
double satin, sorry, 3D foam on the back and I'm just going to position the layer over the previous layer that's on the card. There we go. And press it down. Next, our layer is slightly smaller and I've cut out the layer and added 3D foam on the back so we can marry up the layer like so and then pop image over image and press it down. There we go. Our next layer is the actual sentiment that says wine improves with age, improve with wine. And we'll just pop that over the same sentiment. And I know many of you will appreciate that sentiment. I'm not a wine drinker, but I can quite see how um, it can help. So <laughs> there we go. Our next layer is the balloons. Again, another layer for the decoupage on 3D foam. So I'll just marry the design up. Next, we have the actual wine bottle on 3D foam. So we just, again, marry the image up. Next is the lady herself and the flower on 3D foam. Now, for any new crafters, sometimes as you start cutting decoupage out, the image can look a bit odd because it might not be the full image. So in this case, the lady's hand, she's holding the balloons, but there's no balloon string or no balloons. So to you, it might look a little bit strange because there's a bit missing, but there isn't a bit missing because we're building the image up and each layer is smaller than the previous layer. So, don't, you know, don't panic. So I'll just put the lady there. Next is the lady's skirt. Now this I think represents what I was just saying about the image might look a bit odd because this is just the lady's skirt and you might think, oh, where's the rest of her? But it makes the image build up into layers smaller as we go. So we've got 3D foam on the back. There we go. And then lastly, I've got the back of the lady's head and her hair. 3D foam on the back. And we're just going to position that over the previous layer. And that is our card finished. And you can see those beautiful layers, how they've built up into that gorgeous 3D-ness. And the inside matches perfectly. And then it's all coordinated with the back of the card. I'd just like to remind you of the cup number. It's cup 1092753 underscore 1483. And you can see any of Julie's work by going to the Craft Shoe Print website and looking for Julie Hutchins. I would just like to say thank you so much for watching and I shall see you next time.